Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I wanted to show you a great neck. What do you mean by a great neck? Not my neck. But first, before I show you a great neck, I want to tell you a story, an interesting story. And this is a true story. About a year ago, I was riding my bicycle home from work during my lunch break and I saw a sign for a garage sale. So I turned off the road and went to the garage sale and went snooping around and I found a couple of things. I found an old bottle of glue that was, um, I ended up throwing it away. And the other thing I found was this um, metal yardstick and it also has um, um, metric on it. And I've used this thing. You actually see I can, uh, the um, paint is actually worn off here. And on the back here, I, I put my own markings for my own special scales and stuff. So I've had this for a while. And I actually have two of them. Um, but this is the one I use the most, most often. And it comes in handy a lot of times because like whenever I'm building a neck, I'll use this to verify that it's straight or I'll use it to... Um, determine the height of the where the saddle needs to go or what the what the strings are going to look like um, I, I, I use it to verify the fret leveling and the height of the frets and all that stuff so this thing comes in really handy well anyhow this thing was just sitting around the other day on my workbench and I looked at it and I was like I noticed that the paint was rubbing off and then I saw something that caught my eye here and I'm going to show it to you Look at what it says here. It says, Great Neck Saw Manufacturing. Right? And I just kind of focused on Great Neck. And I was like, huh, wow, what are the odds? And then I looked a little bit further down here, and it says, Great Neck. And I'm just like, well, 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 what do you know? It's like, no wonder I build Great Necks, because I use a Great Neck ruler. Anyhow, I just thought that was interesting. I know. No, seriously, this is this is the neck that I'm working on now. It's got a scarf joint, and this is the Pacific Northwest Doug Fur with nice tight vertical grains there. And I, I love the way this 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 wood is just number one. It's super strong. I know a lot of people might not think so, but I'm telling you, I've never had any issues using Doug Fur. It's like amazing neck wood for cigar box guitars. In fact, the fretboard is also Doug Fur. Um, this was one of them little uh, marker sticks that I found on the side of the road and I dark stained it and look how the stain took in between the grains. Man, I just thought that was just so awesome looking. Um, so this is what it looks like about midway through. So I still need to obviously cut the grooves for the uh, pickup and then trench it out for the, so it doesn't come in contact. I do have the back angle, which means it's thinner here and thicker here. Um, and obviously it's gonna need to be uh, stained and whether it's varnished or oiled or whatever, I haven't decided yet. Um, Right now, it's sanded down to about 400 grit, and it's, I mean, it's smooth enough now to, to be done, but I'm going to continue to work it. Um, why? That's a silly question. The reason being is because it's going to be a great neck. All right, but I, I did want to show you just kind of what these sticks looked like prior to getting their wings, and the wings are the wide, wideners on, on the headstock here. And this is before it gets a fretboard. And this is what it looks like when it gets a heel prior to routing and filing. Man, I'm telling you, I can sit in this workshop, put on some jams, put on some talk radio, put on some, some Bible sermons, whatever. And I can just spend hours and hours and hours just sanding and smoothing and filing and um, just kind of just 
just working it, working it, working it, working it, working it, working it, and working it until it's like finally a great neck. So, if you don't have one of these metal rulers, metal yardsticks, they're, they come in real handy. I would recommend finding yourself one or two or three or four. I even got little guys. All right, so that's it, guys. Enough of me rambling. Time for me to Time for me to keep filing and sanding and staining and steel wooling. All right, I'll talk to you later.